Hello everyone! Ang lesson natin for today is all about Rectangular Coordinate System which is, uh, this is for grade 8, Module 3, Relations and Functions and nakabase po ito sa MELC which is, illustrates the Rectangular Coordinate System and its uses. So, dito po sa video na to, makikita nyo po kung paano i-illustrate ang Cartesian plane or XY plane. Ano ba ang ordered pair? Ano ba ang absisa? Ano ang ordinate? And then, i-discuss ko rin po sa inyo yung four quadrants. Okay? Which is, we have the first quadrant, second, third, and fourth quadrant. And, ituturo ko rin po sa inyo kung paano mag-plot ng points. Okay? So, let's start. Cartesian plane or XY plane is composed of two perpendicular number lines that meet at the point of origin 0, 0. Okay, so meron tayong number lines, dalawang number lines. One is the vertical number line and the other one is the horizontal number lines which is ito yung tinatawag nating X axis. Yung vertical number line, yun yung tinatawag nating Y axis. And then, yung point na nasa pinakagitna, which is intersection ng dalawang number line, yun yung tinatawag nating origin, which is ang ordered pair po nito is 0, 0, or the coordinates is 0, 0. Okay, yan po yung parts ng Cartesian plane natin, which is, Cartesian plane natin, it composed of two number lines. Okay, so next, let's proceed. Ordered pair. What is ordered pair? It is a point in the coordinate system, which is X, Y. Yun yung tinatawag na ordered pair, where X and Y are the elements of real numbers. Bakit ordered pair? Ordered pair kasi mayroon siyang order. Kailangan mauna yung X bago yung Y. It is different na mauna yung Y bago yung X. Okay, where X, which is the first coordinate, is what we call the x coordinate or the abscissa and the second coordinate is y is what we call y coordinate or ordinate okay next uh, the point of intersection of two number lines or two perpendicular number lines again it is what we call the origin or zero zero so this is the point of intersection of the two number lines Okay, ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano magplat ng points. Okay, so kung makikita nyo yung Cartesian plane natin, meron siyang mga positive numbers at merong mga negative na numbers. Okay, it depends sa direction. So, positive kapag ang direction is going up or upward and uh, going to the right direction, positive. Okay, well, negative going down or downward and going to the left direction negative okay again so that is positive then positive going up going to the right positive going down and going to the left negative okay again lagi nating tatandaan na going up at going to the right ay positive going down at going to the left ay negative gamit ang mga directions may ipaplot na natin yung mga points. Okay? So, Cartesian plane natin, ang horizontal line is the x-axis. So, mula sa gitna, which is the origin, papuntang right is positive x-axis. Papuntang left is negative x-axis. Okay? Next, yung vertical number line natin is y-axis. Okay? Mula sa gitna, papuntang taas or upward direction is positive y-axis. Going down is the negative y-axis. Okay? So, let's have the point positive to positive 4. So, the first coordinate, which is the x coordinate, is 2, okay, positive 2. Therefore, uh, from the center or from the origin, magka-count tayo ng 2 units papuntang right kasi positive. Positive ang x coordinate, 1 and 2. Okay? And then, ang y coordinate natin is 4, positive 4. So, magka-count tayo ng 4 units going up, going to the positive direction. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? And then, maglalagay tayo ng point. So, that is the point 
positive 2, positive 4. Okay, next, let's have number 2. We have negative 2, positive 4. So, our first coordinate, which is x coordinate, is negative 2. Second coordinate is 4. Okay, so negative 2 is the x coordinate. So, ha hahanapin natin sa x axis. Since negative 2, so magka-count tayo ng 2 units going to the left direction. Okay, and then 4, ang y coordinate natin is positive 4. So, therefore, okay, mula dun sa end na arrow natin, magka-count tayo ng 4 units going up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, saka natin lalagyan ng point. So, that is negative 2, positive 4. Okay, next, let's have number 3. We have negative 2, negative 4. So, our x coordinate is negative 2, y coordinate is negative 4. Since our x coordinate is negative, so from the origin, we count 2 units going to the left direction. Okay, now we count. We have from the origin, we have now 1 and 2. And our second coordinate is negative 4, which is y coordinate. So, since negative 4 is negative, so we count 4 units going down. Okay, so now we count 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and then we have the point negative 2, negative 4. Okay, next, we have number 4, positive 2, negative 4. Our first coordinate, which is x, is positive 2, and y coordinate is negative 4. Okay, so since um, the first coordinate or the x coordinate is positive 2, okay, from the origin, we count 2 units going to the right direction. 1 and 2. And our second coordinate, which is y coordinate, negative 4. So, we count 4 units going down. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have the point positive 2, negative 4. So, that is how to plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Okay? So, ngayon, observe natin ang mga points sa Cartesian plane. Kung mapapansin ninyo, same number, which is 2 and 4, pero magkakaiba yung place ng mga points. It depends sa um, sign ng x-coordinate at saka y-coordinate. And now, we have another example. Again, we have this Cartesian plane, the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, plot negative 3, negative 5. So, our first coordinate or x coordinate is negative 3. And the second coordinate or y coordinate is negative 5. To plot the points, we start from the origin. Okay, or 0, 0. Okay, so since our x coordinate is negative 3, so from the origin, we count 3 units going to the left direction. 1, 2, and 3. And our y coordinate, which is negative 5, uh, since this is negative, so we're going to count 5 units going to the negative direction. Okay, so going downward. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then place the point. Okay, and that is the point, negative 3, negative 5. Okay, number 2 example, we have 0, positive 4. Okay, our first coordinate is 0 and second coordinate is 4. Again, 0 is the x coordinate, 4 is y coordinate. So, since our x is 0, so nandun lang tayo sa gitna. Nandun lang tayo sa origin. While we have 4... And y coordinate, so going to the positive direction, count for units going up. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is our point zero positive 4. 
Okay, number 3 example. We have positive 6, 0. 6 is the first coordinate, 0 is the second coordinate. Again, 6 is the x coordinate, 0 is y coordinate. So, from the origin, magka-count tayo ng 6 units going to the right direction since 6 is x coordinate. Okay, let's count from the origin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and then place the point. And that is the point, positive 6, 0. Okay, so that is how to plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Okay, next, ituturo ko rin sa inyo kung ano ang quadrant. Okay, para mas madaling mag-locate ng points. Okay, quadrant. The sign of first and second coordinate of a point x, y vary in the four quadrant. Okay, so, nakadepende ang sign ng mga points depende kung saan quadrant siya nakalagay. Okay, so again, ito yung Cartesian plane natin. We have, uh, this part is the quadrant 1 or the first quadrant. Next is the second quadrant or quadrant 2. Okay, next, we have the third quadrant or quadrant 3. And the fourth quadrant or quadrant 4. Okay, again, our ordered pair is x, y. So, nakadepende yung sign ng ordered pair natin, depende kung saan quadrant siya nakalagay. Whether it is in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant. Okay, so first quadrant, we have positive, positive. Positive ang x, positive ang y. So, second quadrant, negative ang x, positive ang y. Okay, negative ang x coordinate, positive ang y coordinate. Okay, next, sa third quadrant, they are both negative. Negative ang x coordinate, negative ang y coordinate. Next, sa quadrant 4, positive ang x coordinate, negative ang y coordinate. Again, ang sign ng ordered pair or ang sign ng coordinates ay depende sa kung saan quadrant siya nakalagay. Okay, so sa first quadrant, parehong positive. Then, sa second quadrant, negative ang x, positive ang y. While sa third quadrant, parehong negative. Negative ang x, negative ang y. While the fourth quadrant... Positive ang x, negative ang y. Okay, para mas lalong maintindihan, so let's have this activity. So, tell the quadrant in which each of the following points is located. Number 1, negative 3, negative 5. Okay, if you're going to observe, they are both negative. So, kung negative pareho, negative ang x-coordinate, negative ang ne y-coordinate, therefore, it is in the third quadrant. Next, number 2, negative 7, positive 3. Okay, so the sign of the x-coordinate is negative, the y-coordinate is positive. Therefore, that is... The point is in the second quadrant. Okay, next, let's have number 3, positive 9, negative 5. Again, the x-coordinate is positive and the y-coordinate is negative. Therefore, the point lies on... Okay, the point lies on the fourth quadrant. Next, number 4, positive 8, positive 4. So, the x-axis is positive when, and the y-axis is also positive. Therefore, the point lies on the first quadrant. Okay, so that is how to locate the points on the Cartesian plane. It depends on what quadrant. Okay, so let's have this activity. Find the coordinates. 
Okay, again, we have this Cartesian plane. We have the number line or the horizontal number line, the x-axis, and vertical number line, y-axis. Okay, first we have the point L, point O, point V, point E, point S. Okay, so we're going to find the coordinates of L, O, V, E, S. Okay, now what is the coordinates of point L? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung point nakatapat siya sa origin. Okay, origin which is uh, nasa x-axis. And then, yung 2, yung 2 is y-coordinate, so hahanapin natin siya sa y-axis. Okay, so which is sa y-axis, nasa 2 siya. Okay, nasa tapat siya ng 2. Therefore, ang coordinates natin is 0, positive 2. Next, we have point O. So, ang point O natin, okay, um, kung mapapansin ninyo, sa x-axis, nakatapat siya sa 6. Sa y-axis, nakatapat siya sa negative 4. Okay, so, laging mauuna yung x bago ang y. So, therefore, Ang coordinates natin is positive 6, negative 4. Okay, next, point V. Okay, so point B, unahin natin ang x-axis, nakatapat siya sa positive 1. Okay, so sa so y-axis, nakatapat siya sa negative 2. Therefore, ang coordinates natin is positive 1, negative 2. Okay, next, let's have point E. So, sa point E, okay, hanapin muna natin sa x-axis kung saan nakatapat. So, nakatapat siya sa negative 3. Sa so, y-axis, nakatapat siya sa negative 1. Therefore, ang point natin is negative 3, negative 1. Next, we have the point S. Okay, so unahin natin sa x-axis, nakatapat ang point S sa negative 2. And then, nakatapat ang point S sa negative 5 ng y-axis. Therefore, we have negative 2, negative 5. Okay, so that is how to find the coordinates of the given points. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click Playlist. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!